welcome to How To Path. Professional computing with free open source software. Today I'd like to talk about using the feature WebGet to actually download big files, uh, ISO files uh, such as operating systems. Often they can be one gigabyte in size and up to even 10 gigabytes in size and it can demand a lot of resources to download such a file and often using the web get feature is a convenient way to do this downloading in the background instead of using your web browser so The WebGet feature here has a quite a few options. It's uh, readily available. Uh, it comes on most. Uh, it comes in pre-installed on most uh, Linux operating systems. You'll also notice that the WebGet website here has listed a number of the options that are available. If you'd like to know if you have the WebGet feature installed, it's as simple as pulling up your console here and just type in WGET and we'll see, press the enter key. Okay, and we have it here because it's telling us we're missing some options but if we'd like to find out about it let's type help and there you go we see a whole bunch of options available for web get here uh, the option that we're particularly interested in ourselves today the feature that we are interested in here there we go right here this feature here it'll allow resuming of partially downloaded files okay so we're going to check out this feature to continue and see if that'll work in case we're downloading a large file and we have to stop for some reason or we get disconnected we can actually resume that download later without having to re-download the large portion that was already downloaded that'll save on our data so the first thing we'll do to check out this web get is let's change to a download directory so let's change our directory to downloads okay and press enter now what I've done here is I've actually changed my terminal console window into this folder here okay so now if we like we'll need to find a file to download so let's uh, let's say something large Okay. these files um, let's take this one here let's just mouse over that let's right click and let's copy that location okay in size so it's 1.945 gigs okay so now let's type in web get or w get and let's just give a space and let's put our HTTP address that we copied let's paste that in there okay so we're in our downloads folder we've got wget webget and we've got the address we've copied to that ISO file that was 1.945 gigabytes in size let's just press enter okay it's sending out okay it's downloading there at a pretty good speed okay okay so we're downloading here we'll give that just a minute here okay we're at 1% so let's simulate a disconnection 
I will push the control C key. Okay, we've been disconnected from our download. Okay, everything is stopped. Now, we've already downloaded 21 megabytes. That's not a lot, but it could have been much more. It could have been 500, 600 megabytes. But there's no point in downloading that 21 megabytes again. So if we'd like, we can use the up arrow key to put in our last command and we can use the left arrow key to go back to the web get command there and let's write in the command option of continue and let's press enter again okay see it just continued on now the glory of this is we can put this down in the background here to shrink it down and leave it run there and we can go ahead and do whatever else we'd like to do if we uh, wanted to work on another program or something we can do that well this is downloading in the background I find the web get, get feature to be very valuable when you'd like to download and yet use your web browser for surfing around and other things without having the download running away in the browser itself. Okay, so that's a little bit of an introduction to a very useful feature that you'll find handy for downloading all sorts of files. On your Linux system. It also works with Windows by the way, but we're talking about open source here and this program. So that's your little web get tutorial from how to PAM professional computing with free open source software. Thanks for